by the dawn of the 20th century, Willie John Simpson, from Money Ray and County Down, was one of the few handloom weavers left on the island of Ireland. When away from the treadle and shuttle, he played the fiddle and could tell you the story behind each tune before he played it. Charlotte Milligan Fox, the Belfast-based pianist and song collector, had heard so much about Willie John's knowledge of traditional music, she decided to visit his home in Money Ray. During her visit, he played a selection of tunes, one of which was an enchanting slow air which he called The Banks of Claudy. Having jotted down each phrase of the tune in her notebook, Charlotte returned to Belfast and gave it to her sister, Edith Wheeler, who was so charmed by its sheer beauty, she wrote words to fit the tune and transformed it into the ballad we know today as My Singing Bird. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Seaton Milligan, Edith Wheeler, birth name Edith Mary Milligan, was born on the 3rd of October, 1867, in Gort Moor, near Oma in County Tyrone. The family later moved to Belfast, where on the 30th of June, 1892, Edith married solicitor George Wheeler, the newlywed setting up home in Thornhill Gardens, Marlborough Park, Belfast. Though more accustomed to writing poetry at home and singing at the odd concert, Edith, like her sister Charlotte, sometimes collected tunes and songs and occasionally travelled with her companions to counties Donegal and Clare in search of old, undiscovered material. On the evening of the 18th of September, 1902, at the Ulster Hall in Belfast, Charlotte Milligan Fox presented an illustrated lecture on the evolution of Irish folk song, in the course of which she introduced the audience to Sean O'Kelly, a blind street musician she had recently met in Bangor, County Down. After she delivered her talk, Willie John Simpson played a selection of fiddle tunes and, seemingly for the first time in public, Edith sang My Singing Bird, her performance prompting the Irish news to remark, the beauty of the air was enhanced by Mrs Wheeler's singing and the applause with which it was followed was very well deserved. The two-verse ballad was included in Four Irish Folk Songs, a beautifully produced little book that could be best described as an all-Ireland effort. With Irish translations provided by Cork-born Taig O'Donoghue and songs collected from various parts of the country by the women from Tyrone, the book was bound in linen in Belfast by W. and G. Baird and published in December 1906 by Monsell and Co. Middle Abbey Street, Dublin. Made available throughout the world, it soon fell into the hands of Victoria Eugenie, Julia Ina of Battenberg, the Queen of Spain, who was so impressed with the work that in May 1907, she conferred on Charlotte Milligan Fox the Royal Red Cross of Spain. At the outbreak of the First World War in 1914, Edith Wheeler concentrated less on writing poetry and more on providing aid for refugees and injured soldiers. Unlike her older sister, Alice, a staunch Irish nationalist, Edith became a member of the Women's Unionist Association and was appointed Honorary Secretary of the War Hospital Supply Committee a group that helped organise a number of fundraising concerts to buy clothing, blankets and surgical supplies, all of which were shipped off to hospitals and refugee centres in mainland Europe. Shortly after she received the CBE for services rendered during the war, Edith Mary Wheeler withdrew from public life, making only rare appearances at meetings or rallies. 
She died on the 21st of September 1922 at our Thornhill Gardens home. It's interesting to note that my singing bird was dedicated to Dennis O'Sullivan, the Irish-American singer who did so much to popularise the song in the United States. The sheet music was republished in 1942 by Waltons of Dublin, and in 1963 the McPeak family of Belfast recorded an Irish-language version of the song. Between 1963 and 65, the original English-language version was recorded by the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem, and by the Ludlow Trio. But from the 1970s onwards, the innocent sentiments expressed in the ballad seemed to have fallen out of favour with singers in Ireland. That is until 2002, when it featured on Sinead O'Connor's album Shan Nos Nua. Two years later, it was included on Luca Bloom's Before Sleep Comes album and on Barbara Dixon's Full Circle. Played on a fiddle in County Down, collected and lyricised by women from Tyrone, published in Dublin and made popular by artists throughout the world, such is the story of Edith Wheeler's My Singing Bird. I have seen the lark soar high at morn To sing up in the blue I have heard the blackbird pipe its song The thrush and the linnet too But none of them can sing so sweet My singing bird as you Sing it so. 